If you guys remember, it was a year ago, not too long ago, a year ago, Jelaine Maxwell got convicted of sex trafficking minors to no one. No charges have been brought up on any of the supposed people she was trafficking these kids to. No investigations have been launched. Nothing. So this woman had hundreds of counts of child sex trafficking to nobody. How does that make sense? Wouldn't a crime like that like require there to be a customer on the other end? Like doesn't that make like, how, how does that make any sense? Like they're doing this right out in the open. They don't care. They're telling you they're better than you right out in the open because they know you won't do anything because they know you're a fat consuming pile of crap that's stuck inside the matrix. And you won't even bother to produce an original thought. As long as your little bubble doesn't get popped, it's fine that scumbags are trafficking kids to fat government pedophiles. Are literally pick, kidnapping kids off the streets in poor areas in your country, not just outside in Thailand and South America and Africa, picking up kids in your country in poor neighborhoods, be that in the hoods in Detroit, be that in the trailer parks in Kentucky, all over the place, Skid Row in L.A., all over the place. They're picking up kids and they're trafficking them to the people that you elect every year to rule you. But that doesn't matter. As long as you're as long as Netflix doesn't raise the price another $2.99 a month, you'll be happy. Right? You guys are riot if that happens. God forbid. Ah, people up in arms because they Louisiana just passed a bill. The the bill we talked about uh, that Mike Lee brought nationally, Louisiana just passed a bill to require you, you enter your ID information to watch porn now. And you're up in arms about that. God forbid anyone touch your porn, right? But you know. Sex trafficking kids to, to, to politicians. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you could actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.